name now. Can y'all help me remember to do that like when I'm calling roll? Because I'll forget. Sorry about that. I mean, it's fine for you guys when you're here, but when you're not here, it could be helpful. All right. So, um, I get a ton of these reviews of cynicism or meliorism, and so that means I've got a ton of students, former students walking around who know what the word meliorism means. <laughs> uh, 42, 48, not long enough. 33 to 36, that one is long enough. It's a little over and that's fine. Uh, 44 to 52, that's bumping on it because that is an important uh, article I'll accept it even though it's a ten, you know it's almost 10 pages but um this attack on puritanic Calvinism that's too short here but you would want to quote it probably in your research paper uh, but you don't want to do a article review of it Okay, so am I making sense so far? Uh, if you're watching the video, I'm sorry, I just turned on the video. So um, I've got a recording of like audio of basically what we've been talking about to this point. Uh, and then when you get to uh, the article analysis, uh, step three, <laughs> uh, you can come back in here and actually see the video. All right. Oh, I wasn't using this. Okay, so where are we? Here we go. So we've um, picked out a topic. We've found a scholarly article. Oh, um, now when you find the one you want to write about 33 through 46 uh you want to download it but the best now what won't that do how do you read this i've never seen that grayed out oh maybe because it's online all right, let's do another one because most of them are different. They're PDFs. Um, okay, so let's do the cynicism or meliorism. Uh, you accept their terms and conditions, then they will load up the PDF in your browser. I would suggest saving it onto your computer. And then you can open it. You can either print it out or just have it on your computer. Um, and if you come across something interesting, that's not right. How do you do the highlight thing? Ah, here we go. You can highlight it and come back to it later. And then you can save it. So it'll have the differences you've done. And then you can type in comments, stuff. Uh, but the point is you'll have it on your computer. Um, as long as your computer has power, you won't need to be online to use it um, in case of emergency. All right, so we've got the article. Here's a sample one, another sample, which moved. That's the trouble with uh, linking up stuff at tech. They're always moving things around. Um, but anyway, I showed you what to do. Read the article, write a review of the article, that's step five, not a review of the original story. 
uh, because this is the first step for, you know, after you read the story, it's the next step in writing a research paper, is starting to read articles and make notes from the article. And this is a little more formal writing than you'll probably do for the rest of it, but um, two thirds of the review should be a summary of what the article says. I need to know what is the thesis, what are the major points in the outline. Then the last third is your response. Um, and it's, you know, so we don't get bogged down in what your feelings are, I actually have questions for you to answer. Uh, who is the original audience for the article? So, um, there are two audiences for articles. One are students, like yourself. One is other professors. So if I'm writing as a professor to other professors, there are a lot of words I don't define, um, you know, concepts that, you know, don't describe, I expect everybody to know it because we all got a PhD. Uh, so if you can't understand what they're going on about, that's probably written by a professor for other professors. Uh, if you can understand it, then the college, uh, you know, your educated readers, generally educated, you know, you have a, uh, a general education, but not a PhD in English. So uh, you're able to understand with that, then it's for students. Question number two. Does the article stay on point or does it wander off topic? So uh, some of my best points I've written in my, artic in my, um, in my articles were uh, rabbits I <laughs> would come across and start chasing. <clears throat> I just had to chop one out the other day. I'm writing an intro to a book. And it's so great. It was so great. It just didn't fit. So I had to delete it. That hurt. And some people can't stand that pain. <laughs> And so they, uh, they leave it in. Um, does the article get the facts of the story correct? Um, so when we do talk about Young Goodman Brown on Wednesday, we will find that at the end of the story, Young Goodman Brown, well, in the middle, he says, my faith is gone. And faith in this case is symbolic of the Christian faith in God. So um, for generations, scholar after scholar would say, well, by the end of the story, young Goodman Brown has lost his faith. But no, she's still in the house right beside him in bed. And so he's got his faith. It's just that he's alienated from it somehow. So it makes it a lot more interesting, but it was not until like the 1950s that this guy comes along. I think his name was Levine, but I'm not sure. I forget which article it was, but anyway, he threw a turd in the punch bowl of scholarship and said, oh wait, they're together at the end. So that means he did not lose his faith. Uh, and then that, you know, opened up a door that has led to a lot of discussion since then. What exactly does that mean then? Uh, but they didn't get the facts of the story correct. If you don't have, if you don't read the story and find out what's in it, uh, it's hard to write a good article about it. All right, uh, next thing. Um, do you agree with the interpretation of the story or poem? Was it valid? So, um, this is where your own opinion as an educated reader comes in. I think this is silly versus, oh yeah, now I understand it much better. Um, or, and finally, did it help you understand the story or poem better? So maybe it, it was valid, it was correct, they got all the details, but it was like ho-hum, who cares? That, that was kind of obvious from the beginning. Um, so those are your five questions to answer. Now let's take a look at a sample. So here we go. Uh, try to make sure spell check is not going to catch alien, Edgar Alien Poe. I kind of like it, right? Edgar Alien Poe. That would explain a lot if he was one of the lizard people. 
Um, so anyway, do check over, you know, like physically yourself proofread it. Oh, we've got questions, maybe something. Uh, yeah, we'll be out by 350. Um, all right, so then we do a summary. That's still summary of the article, summary, summary, which is about two thirds. Then the bottom third is your analysis. And that's where you're answering those questions. So the first two thirds, just summary of the article, hit the high points. What's the thesis? What are the major points? Maybe a little bit of the evidence, they, the kind of evidence they give. And then this bottom third, uh, and it should be on three pages, not full three pages, but I don't want it a page and then a few lines on the second page. So make sure you make it to that third page. And then finally, um, the bibliography. Now what's the easiest way to make a bibliography? Uh, I forget the name of the website, but there's a website you can use that makes it like super easy. Yeah, easybib, easybib.com. Yeah, that's the one. Now they'll make you watch commercials every so often, create citations, um, and then, you know, they put these three, but there are a lot more choices over here, depending on what kind of source you had. Uh, and then you just fill it out and it generates the uh, bibliography for you. You can cut and paste. Now notice it's double space. It's hanging indent. There are no numbers at the beginning. Like we don't number our sources. Uh, should have had a period at the end. Uh, my thing won't write a period there. All right, so I think Yeah. Then we'll do it over turn it in. Um, when I did paper copies, I got people to print out the the article. Just put the link in there and then I can follow the link and look up the article on JSTOR and you don't need to worry about uploading that. I don't wanna, you know, it's just wasted space and wasted time on your part. Um, so just, just the article review, not the extra stuff. All right, any questions? When is this due? Let's look it up. All right, I usually have do stuff in red, which is pretty close to my link color. Uh, oh, I didn't even do that. So if we've caught up, yeah, I think we can turn it down on time because everything else we're doing is something else. Uh, so week two, September 25th. Um, I know that's later in the week, let's see. So usually our week ends on the uh, Wednesday. Um, so why don't we make it, oh, like, what's today, Monday? So a week from Wednesday would be the 23rd, right? That's our last day that week. So just sometime that afternoon or evening would be fine. And remember, it's three pages. Uh, one and two are on summary and then bottom part of two and top of page three is analysis. All right, so you feel like you have a grasp on this. Now the grasp will loosen as we talk about other stuff, but uh, you'll have this and then my little bitty bit, <laughs> a, a recording of this class uh, to help you uh, remind you what you're doing. 
and like I said, please help me remember to to, uh, to record these. This is all new to me, so maybe one of the 26 of us will be able to remember that. Any right, questions, comments? Was I so clear you don't have any questions? Or are you so confused you don't know what to ask? All right, you sure nobody has a question? Let me stop sharing. Almost everybody is like not not video. At the beginning of this, everybody was videoing, and I guess you figured out how to turn that off, huh? Um, so, so no questions. You're sure? I think you have some questions down in the chat. Oh, thank you. See, that's another thing I don't remember. I'm old. I don't get all this uh, technology stuff like you. Uh, where's the turn it in link? There's no turn it in links yet. I'll have to set those up when we get closer. Uh, yeah, we're getting out early. <laughs> oh, the packet is at the bookstore. And the English office needs the, um, the uh, fall plagiarism statement. No turn it in link yet. You said the fall plagiarism statement would be in the packet? Yes. Yeah, they've got one for every quarter of the year, like fall, winter, spring, summer. So do the fall one. Okay, so do I, would I have to buy three packets then? No, 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 no. There are three okay. pages in that one packet. It's for the whole awesome. year. And like if you were taking 101 this fall, then you would use the same packet for 102. I guess you probably, most of you guys had um, dual enrollment or something. But if uh, like a new, or, or your sophomores, but a freshman getting here, they've got this, you know, buy the packet, and then they can use the same one in the winter and spring when they take 102. Right, okay, so I have a, I have a uh, freshman composition English book from when I took uh, English 101 and during the summer of 2019. Would that be the same book that I'll be using right now? I'll have to find no, it. No, but take it up to the office and see if they'll take the Turnitin sheet from it. I mean, the plagiarism sheet from it. Okay. Because I don't think it's changed that much. Yeah, most of the stories we read are on the website. I think everything we is. If you find a dead link, please let me know because. Uh, as we've seen, these links die over time, but all this stuff is all in f available somewhere. Um, so yeah, take the packet, before you buy a new one, take the old one up there. And I don't think they're that pricey. What are they, like 20 or 25? It's the, it's the textbook that really costs, so just skip it. Are we able to use a uh, story or a play that's not on any of the lists? Um, what were you interested in? Um, a Midsummer's Night Dream. And did you write your senior research paper on that? I did not. Uh, that'd probably be all right. I like the Midsummer Night's Dream. It's got a lot of stuff going on. It's got Amazons. What's not to like? <laughs> and uh, donkey-headed people and uh, fairies. This might be weird because I'm a graduating senior. I don't know how I passed up English 102 <laughs> and graduating. Have you been in a class of mine before? I took your technical writing class in the spring. I thought that <laughs> name looked familiar. Um, but I just wanted to make sure, would we be done before grades are due for graduating seniors? Right. The last thing we're taking up is the group project, and you just have to get your part in before okay. finals week or, you know, by that Monday, whatever. Um, and let me know as we get closer because I don't usually have, um, uh, we don't have graduating seniors. <laughs> right, that's it. Uh, Dr. Bruce, can you look at my uh, video? It's, I want to show you the, 
Hang on, let me see. How do I? Do I can't that? see myself. What? Are you dear? I know that's okay. Yeah, look at your Can you see it? I can't see it. Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Huh. It's got like a camera with a slash over it. Oh, now your name's mm -hmm. back. Yeah, I'm trying to. Let's see this. Apparently, it's just not showing. Doesn't want to. Or maybe I just have it off. Let me try. Can y'all hear me okay? I got a microphone to help out. Yeah. I'm thinking about getting a, a webcam. I have my I camera believe, on. But I believe if you want to share a screen, that you, uh, oh. the host has to allow it. Oh, there Let you go. Let me do that. Hold on. So, yeah, I know. Uh, it may be. Oh, is it the other way around or no? It looks fine for me. There you are. See, this is the one that I have. Would it? Would, is it the packet that I'll have to buy, or is uh, it another one? Does it look that, different? That looks right. Does it have a plagiarism statement on the inside? Uh, on the it first page right or last page? It should be right at the front. Is it what it looks like? Green. Yes. That looks. Yeah, I right. see it on the top. So. Okay, so can you share your screen? I don't have one of those. Like, go down to the green button, share screen, and then everybody can see it. Who are you talking to? Uh, Lucas Duran. Oh. Well, this is like this is on my webcam. This is on my webcam. Right, but you, oh, oh, oh. Well, maybe we could right. pin the video. Oh, speaker view. If you set on speaker view. I'm trying. Go away. Camera's frozen now. Ah, of course. <laughs> See, technology. Yeah, it should be working fine, but it isn't. Oh, there you go. Sorry now. for oh, a second. It stopped. Yeah. That's the thing. If you've got a great cable, which you're in Ruston, right? Uh, mm -hmm. and a brand new computer and everything's working fine. But as soon as the computer's, oh, there we go. Good. All right. Back it up a little bit. Okay. Can everybody see that? Freshman composition course guide, English 101 slash 102. Uh, now that is 18 to 19. So take it by the office and yeah. show them that you have the okay. thing and that you took it before. Maybe they'll yeah, for this. For the summer one, we use the fall plagiarism statement. So, are you okay if you like if I scan it and print another one, just the same one for like just winter or spring? Just get up there and see spring. what they want. I don't, you know. Oh, okay. It's not up to me. All right. It's, so yeah, wear a mask, uh, cover your nose. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anybody else? What building is that in that we need to take this the statement to? GTM George T. Madison. It's in the same parking lot as Wiley Tower. It looks like a Borg cube if you're a Star Trek person. What's the room number? Or you said second floor. It's the second floor, southeast corner. Oh, okay. Look that up. When you go into GTM, it has a board that has the room, like room numbers on it for the head English mm -hmm. department, and that's where you take it to. Okay. See, I shuffle by that stuff. I never notice. So. Uh, oh, my goodness. It's not easy to find, is it? You would think, okay, no, no. Oh, wait. It's, it's just basically the same side as like facing Wiley Tower. It's and facing the Wiley Bible. Tower, yeah. In the Barnes & Noble. Right. School of Design. Oy vey, we got a lot of stuff. Everything's hard to find during a, a class. Here we go, school literature and language. Let's see where Dr. Roach is. G 
GTM 236, but I think the office may be 232. Because it's, every door goes up two numbers, and I think you go in 232, and then go into 234 to see the secretary, and then 236 to see Dr. Roach. That sounds right. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Or you may wind up in the copy room. Any more questions? I'm, oh. I'm good. Let's see if we get any more chats. Yeah, take yeah, take the plagiarism up to the English department. Yeah, facing Lady of the Mist, the corner that way. All right, I will put y'all in groups over the weekend, probably, if I think about it. And then at some point when we have time, we'll talk about it, but don't worry about it until we talk about it. All right, well, I will see you guys on Wednesday. Everybody's done. I, I don't want to cut anybody off. All right, see you guys. Have a good day. Yes, sir.